Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Nerd It This Way. I'm Mahalia, and today I am doing an update on where I am with my TBR for the Monster Thon. Mahalia, in this world, you must know who you are. So, I am currently reading. Priest of Bones by Peter McLean and this is some dark um it, like what I thought was gonna happen kind of went left and it didn't happen the way I thought it was gonna happen I know that sounds like repetitive it's the same thing but so I'm gonna link the TBR up above but I assumed that this was a kind of godfather meets um, magic meets priest of bone and I have finished volumes one and two of Overlord by Kugane Maru Maruyama I don't know why I'm having like I'm getting tongue-tied I don't know what's going on um, so I finished volumes one and two and it was completely different than what I thought was going to happen. So this shows, like, it's so dark. So we're following our main protagonist, Momonga, who is sitting in his guild. And he is the guild leader. And this guild was originally created with 41 41 guild leaders and each one had gone off to do like life things they had families they got new jobs their careers were taken off based off of their um NP npcs that they created and momonga is the last man standing and the game is being terminated so he's waiting for people to come back kind of like do their last, you know, hurrah as the game ends and it's shut down. And so Momonga's like going through like, like his memories of when he started and how he got in into the guild and all the people and the NPCs. And as he's like walking down the hall, you get more detail in the light novel than you do in like the manga and the anime. I highly recommend watching the anime if if you're not really into reading subtitles which i feel like everybody on booktube might be um i recommend reading the subtitles and listening to it subbed on hulu there is a dub version dub meaning like it's translated to english or spanish or you know portuguese another language but for me the the sub is very raw and closer to what the actual characters are saying rather than when they translate it some things are lost in translation and things like that so that happens but so when is going down doing this countdown feeling a little bit angry and jaded about everything that's happened with the guild and then he's like well I'm gonna have all the members of the guild come and meet me in the throne room. The throne room is like the last big boss fight when players come to raid the raid their dungeon. Um, it is called the Tomb of Nazareth, which the Tomb of Nazareth is built by the guild Eins Ul Gol, which is the 41 players who I didn't know this like I kind of did I kind of had a feeling but the guild is for villains like they're they all do and have their kind of darker side show in their characters and their NPCs and so you meet the battle maids you meet the floor guardians which we get more perspective of and more of their thoughts and conversations and then we get their feelings on certain missions and certain aspects of um just how their how the supreme ones they call them the 41 guild members 
how they feel about being abandoned or left. And so Momonga is the last one there. As the game shuts down, he kind of changes some things up and some of the NPCs, which I was like, oh, it's so cute. But the game <sighs> transports him to another dimension, to another world. And the NPCs are now making their own decisions. They're not, you know, they're two-dimensional selves. And Momonga is trapped. And the problem that he faces, which is really dope, I guess for me being uh, a writer and just really enjoying the backstories of the floor guardians and of the battle maids and how every little detail in their backstory is done so well. So if you watch the manga and you're so confused, I will link above a um, well, two channels. One explains the different floor guardians, their powers, like their kind of natures that you would get mostly from a light novel rather than the manga or anime. Although you see a lot, like there's a lot more detail in a manga than it would be in like an anime. And there's a little bit more information, backstory in the light novel than the manga and anime. So, you know, the three different, you know, adaptations. The problem I have with this, because I've watched, I watched the anime and I have read most of the manga kind of behind that they kind of like combine scenes that weren't really like the time the timeline to the anime is very uh different than the light novel like certain certain scenes are like combined to make a, an episode in the anime but you get more detail. You get more like raw emotion and just the scene is it shows the thought process of each floor guardian and their creator's thought process. Like if you're a writer and you're kind of like, oh, you know, how do you kind of create a character that's smarter than you? How do you create a character that has crazy tendencies but they're really nice at heart but they you know they're loyal to a fault like they have every little trope in there but there's like some twist to it because it is a villain's guild and it is so dope like every floor has like monsters on it but each monster is like uh it, it's so crazy like I kind of wanted to, I started reading volume three and then I remember that I have a TBR and I got other books to read so that was a mind blown and I gave I gave Overlord a a four out of five and I gave volume two a three out of five. Volume two had more holes in the story to make you want to read the next one which I like and I hate it all at the same time because I wanted my questions answered right then and there but that didn't happen. So yep. I recommend reading the light novel because if you like Joe Abercrombie and Mark Lawrence style writing, you would like Overlord, hands down. You would love it, I think, personally. That is my 10 minute wrap up on where I am and how the book went. I will, I'm hopefully going to finish this book this week sometime maybe I don't know I am not sure if it has triggers but I'm gonna put the warning out there that there might be triggers in mostly probably volume two maybe volume uh, both values I'm just gonna say both values have triggers in them so please be aware when reading this is a dark storyline it's it's pretty crazy if you hear like these little coughing my dog is like pacing the hallway so yeah I'm, I'm sorry but that's all for me I hope you guys have a great week and like share comment subscribe click the bell because I am going to try and do this weekly so Ha <laughs>
Bye. <laughs>